And there are so many other common experiences we've all had, especially working on teams that we don't necessarily have labels for. So being able to give people the vocabulary to talk about these things is super powerful. And then the other piece of it is making explicit a lot of the assumptions that we bring to the table when collaborating with others that are often mm. just kept implicit. And when we have different implicit assumptions that we've never actually talked about, that's where you can get some friction and you don't mm -hmm. necessarily know where the friction comes from. Why is this happening? And so getting a set of working agreements up front for example, how will we hold each other accountable? If we make agreements with each other, like a lot of collaborating is making requests and promises. And so yeah. let's, when, when we go about the business of doing that, what happens when one of us fails to fulfill on a promise? How should we hold each other accountable? And getting agreement around that explicitly up front, when the time comes, you know what to do. And the other person also knows how to receive it because you've agreed that this will be how we handle that and how we communicate about it. And there's an explicit buy-in. So it, it eliminates and gets out in front of any sense of defensiveness or dysfunction that might otherwise have come up. And, you know, there's dozens of examples like that, but it's, it's a lot of fun and super impactful to just arm people with uh, awareness of these things and a way to navigate them.